Girls who migrate to the city for greener pastures are more often than not left disappointed. Most of them end up on the street living with unimaginable harsh conditions. The Assemblies of God Church has been helping some of these girls, but not without some difficulties. Loretta van der Poy brings you more. Some migrant girls who live on the streets were brought to the capital from the poorest regions by greedy agents or relatives, promising them they would be taken care of and paid well. Some had the understanding that they would be taken to school, but that did not happen. Others came on their own and found out too late that the conditions are too harsh for them. These children, more often than not, live their lives in conditions that can be described as very bad. Assemblies of God Church Ghana, realizing a need to be met, set up a Relief and Development Lifeline Development Services project in Accra. Under the project, migrant girls are selected from the streets and given some skills so that they can have a secure future. The girls are taught five skills, batik tie and dye, beauty care and hairdressing, dressmaking, catering, and bead making. 20 girls are being trained by the Assemblies of God Church currently. At the shelter donated by a Dutch philanthropist, young migrant girls concentrate on their work, determined to make something out of their lives. Each of them has their own horrible migration experience. Beatrice Alomo was sure she would continue her schooling. At least, that is what her auntie told her when she brought her to Accra. She could not keep her promise, and Beatrice ended up on the streets. She was, however, lucky to hear of the center. When they were ready for her, they called her. I feel very happy that I'm here. And in outside there, it's not very easy. It's not easy at all outside. But I'm here, I'm very happy because here, they give you everything you want. They train you. What you do is just obey the rules and regulations at this place, and it'll be, everything will be okay for you. Since the church started the program, about 1,200 girls have been trained. In spite of the good job the church is doing, there are some challenges. The shelter has the capacity to take 100 girls at a time, but because of lack of funds, only 20 girls can be catered for now. For the past three years, we are not able to meet these targets because of um, funding. So as of now, we have just 20 girls. And 80 beds are just sitting there. We have the space for classes. We have um, space for everything that we need for the training. But unfortunately, because of funding, we are not able to help much. So if we could get some kind of support, even the government can partner with us to train the young people that they are trying to reach out to. We can train them for free. They, what they have to do for us is to make sure they provide us with the basic training materials and equipments and then take care of the staff, allowances and salaries. And we are ready to give out our best to empower the young people in our society because we already have the structures. Due to a story carried earlier on GBC24, the Christian Children's Fund, CCF of Canada, came to support them with items worth 47,000 Ghana cities. This is the second time CCF is supporting the project. The items were made up of sewing machines, hair dryers, beauty care accessories, beads and accessories, and teaching and learning materials. The chief executive officer of CCF Mark Lukowski and his wife, who made the presentation, were happy to touch the lives of many valuable girls in society. The executive director of the Assemblies of God Relief and Development Service Lifeline Project, Joseph Kwame Wumbi, was grateful for the support. He said it would enable them to continue their mandate of rescuing, rehabilitating, and reintegrating the street girls with their families. Loretta Vanderboy reporting for DBC 24.